welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything we do no matter where we're doing it. We are at Brett's Brickyard Bistro today and we are firing up a doozy. A doozy if I do say so myself. If, if you know what you I mean, mean and you, I think you do. If you doozy say so yourself. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but we are super excited about this one because this is actually inspired by a recent package we, deli we, uh, we delivered. We delivered, we got delivered we to us. We received that we already know what's in here. Ricky Mulkey recently reached out and he knew we were having a hard time finding some Wolf Brand chili here in Florida. We can find it, it wasn't on the shelves for a little while. So our brother hooked us up. We're gonna dig into this and we're talking about the cook here in just a second. Yes. We got some cool goodies, first and foremost, well, first and foremost, <laughs> we got the wolf chili. Now this is the no bean, which will be perfect yes! in today's burrito, yes. which I'm super excited about. Ricky, thank you so much for the chili. We are but, using that in our burritos but today. Wait, that's is not all, my friend. License to grill. These are magnets. Man, so great. Thank you awesome. so much. Love it. These will go, you know what? These are gonna go on the fridge. Right now, the, your fridge of fame? The fridge of fame. <laughs> I'm gonna take one down to mine for our fridge of fame. Right. Thank you, thank you for sending two so we can yes. each have one. I love but it. Ricky, love thank it, you so it. much for the thought. Thank you for the chili. With that, Brett, while he's over there doing that, I'm gonna have him go ahead and tell you about the groceries, what's going into this one. Here we go. We are using these burrito shells from La Bandarita. They are our favorite, or La Bandarita. We have got the 80-20 ground beef. We're <laughs> using yellow <laughs> diced onions. Thank you for that. Of course, you now pictured is the Wolf Brand chili. We're using this Mexican blend and cheese as well as Frito-Lays for a crunch. And if you know us, we love the Taco Bell seasoning. Now, we are doing something similar to what we've done. It's almost, This is almost, Brett, kind of like a cross between if Taco Bell and Sonic, Sonic had, had a, baby. a burrito baby. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it was bigger chili, than either of them. A chili burrito yeah. baby. And we're gonna make two large burritos. Yep. And we're going to do the grilled cheese on the outside that we absolutely love. So watch for that, something that we're, this will be our own creation, our own concoction yep. of this cook. And using, of course, this Wolf Brand chili, so which we've already got on the grill. griddle. Yep. So Brett, let's go ahead and just get to the cook. Here we All go. right, so here we go. First things first, we're going to ground beef it up. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go Imagine Dragons on me. Oh, uh, first things first, I'ma say all the things inside my head. Ready? So we went ahead and put the chili on. We're gonna get the ground beef going right here. And as you've noticed, we didn't put any oil down. Something we are starting to do more and more of. Doesn't need it. All right, so the, the key here is just browning this ground beef. As you can see, it is brown. Right. And uh, one thing too, with our with our ground beef, when we're doing tacos, we like it really finely chopped. Yep. Kind of like what Taco Bell does. We have actually heard that a key, that one step that does help is to put it in the blender. Yeah, you can, but we don't. You know what else helps, Brett? Is what? if I don't talk while you're chopping. Or that. Well, at least it, th this is one thing that's nice about the non-metal. It's not breaking the eardrums. It's uh, just, uh, you can hear it, get your attention, but it's not too loud. We've had people be, uh, upset with us for talking while the other is chopping. So with this one, we can do that. So once the meat is about 75% cooked, we will add in the taco seasoning. Which, by the way, takes about three or four minutes to get to that point. Yeah, yeah, this, this meat's been on for about two minutes right now. And we are on low heat. These two burners are on low. The far burner bread is also on low. Yep. All three on low. Yep. Now one thing, I'm gonna be transparent here. We started the chili inside on the burner for about five minutes just to get it warmed up. It's just to save us a few minutes because we're not doing a whole lot more. We're not making a slurry or not anything else. Uh, we knew this beef was gonna go fast, so we just heated it up really quick inside to put out here to finish up for about five minutes. So everything will be ready about the same time. Right. Okay, right. so this is ready to, all right, season up. All right, and that is one packet per pound of ground beef. This is just about a pound of ground beef. And all we're gonna do is mix that and let those flavors marry a good three, four minutes or maybe five minutes to get those flavors good. And Brett, how many times would you say we've done this with the taco meat on the griddle? Oh, of our four, between four and 500 cooks, maybe about 100. No, <laughs> I know, it's a, a good 20 to 30 yeah, at least. At least, like, and, and we've, we've used this anytime we use crunch wraps, even for our family events and gatherings. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we've done this method many, many and times. And you can see, look how f finely chopped that beef is. It's just, I go even uh, if you ask me, but it'll work, Brett, it's good enough for government work. How can it get finer? Hi, 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 
lay you down. Okay. All right, normally we'll drain this before we add seasoning. We didn't, but there you go. So we'll lose a little bit of the flavor, but yeah. really the flavor on this one comes from the chili anyways. We do drain the ground beef. And again, we are just bragging at how many times we've done this and we missed a, a very important step. So that will just continue to drain out. We'll just pull what we need anyway. All right, so let's clean the griddle off, Brent, and we're gonna go ahead and get to the last phase or the next step of this. Yep, so we got our ground beef. We're grabbing Look the tortilla. Look at that tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> it's got issues. That's okay. That's okay. Listen, you're valid, Tortilla. You're unique. All right, so Brett's got this. He's going to throw in a little bit of cheese. We're going to take a heap of our ground beef. Now, the hard thing is going to be to not overstuff this. All right. Then our chili. I just had to scold Brett. He wanted to put more. That's good enough. Get the, a little bit of onions. There's our handful of onions going in there followed by our Fritos, and these are original. Brett really, really, really wanted the chili cheese Fritos. In fact, we got them, and I told him, listen, let the chili be the flavor of the chili, and the Fritos will be there for support. <laughs> so, Brett, what did we learn? Tuck all the way in, fold all these the way up be, and over. This is a teeny burrito. Tuck, okay, load it up more. You wanna put more in? Yeah. <laughs> Brett was embarrassed by the size of that serving and everything, so another chunk of meat. All right, I think this is gonna be too big. Brett is happy with the way this is turning out. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Adam was right. I think I was uh, wrong on this one. <laughs> I knew that would work. I knew <laughs> uh, That is awesome. All right, put it on the plate. All right, let's build the other one and uh, we'll go get them on the uh, on the griddle. We were Injury on the play. Injury on the play. We were so impressed with Brett's skills. He set it down and then pressed on it. <laughs> Don't press on it. <laughs> All right, let's go put these on the grill. All right, this, that said, the burrito rolls were pretty impressive, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess so you, here yes. we go. So we're gonna here do we go, here we go, two here spots, because we we're doing yes. two burritos. Okay, there we go. All right, so one thing about cheese, you gotta remember there's a good amount of oil in it, so if it feels like, oh no, you're gonna burn the cheese. No, you're not. That oil will protect it from burning. All right, so Brett, go ahead and grab a burrito and start putting it on there now. How about I just put it on instead of start putting it on? Okay. We really wanna make sure that the Ooh, cheese geez. adheres to the burrito. All right, so Brett, I go ahead and layer the other cheese down. If you've not grilled cheese a burrito like this, you gotta, you gotta. It is a game, game changer. changer. Absolutely a game changer. Is that enough? That's uh, good enough for government work. Elected government work or like, you got hired by the government to work. It's a little different. <laughs> All right, so we kind of missed the boat on that one, but Ow. look at, oh man, there. that looks incredible. We got a little bit too stuck. Let's go ahead and do the, the next one. So I'm coming more to there angle you go. this time. Way better. We didn't have an angle the first time and I tried to help and well, I dug into the cheese, the same thing I was telling Brett he was doing. Watch this. This is what you want it yes, to look like. this is what like. you want it to do. Right. You roll. Here, oh, that oh, 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 is a grilled cheese. Oh, and Brent, cheese I'm really sorry, but that one's mine. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the other side of that will look Flavor good, will not be affected here. No, it will not. All right, we got the plate ready to go. Oh, that crusty cheese. Nothing but a slide that on there. Yeah, the key to this is the angle. You want to take a sharp angle to get under the cheese, because watch. Look how much better oh, that is. Oh man, that is some crispy cheese, dude. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut one of these open and uh, we'll dig in. There it is in, in all, all its glory. glory. And I'm gonna tell ya. Man. It, I'm super excited for it. Is it still super, super hot? It's not, it's not. Okay. We can go ahead and eat them now. Do it. So Brett, like we say, it can look amazing. Oh, these look amazing. These look like a hot mess in it a great way. It does look like a hot mess. We are trying to take pics for the thumbnail. We couldn't get a good angle. The cheese is kind of a mess everywhere, but the thing is it's not gonna impact the flavor. Correct. Bit. But like we say, it can smell amazing. Oh, can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> but if this doesn't taste amazing, then this is all, all for not. not. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my brother. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Could there be any more flavor in there? No. 
I swear every time we make a burrito, we Hold say on. that's the best burrito I've ever had. This is that's a pinkies up type situation. The best burrito I've ever tasted. That has so much flavor. Cheese. Yep. Tortilla. Yep. Beef, chili, onions, cheese, Fritos. Oh, Fritos! You get the saltiness of those Fritos. Of course, you lose the crunchiness of the Fritos because they get a little soggy with the chili, but you get that nice bite through it. It's a nice solid bite. The saltiness, oh, it's so much flavor. This is an, a flavor explosion, bro. It is sweltering out here. Yeah, we're nearing another heat wave here in Central Florida, so we are just, ugh. And this isn't doing anything to cool me down. No, it's just my hot griddle. No, what we need is a nice, like one of those icy breeze air conditioners. There we go. If you know anybody, icy breeze. Hook you know a brother up. That can uh, sell them. So happy we came into this. If you like this video, if this gave you anything, a new idea of something that you could cook on your griddle, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us and what we do. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to that in the description below this video. Ricky, thank you so much for the chili. It came in clutch. We absolutely yes. love Wolf Brand Chili. It, to, to us, reminds us of our favorite, which is Nally, Nally chili. chili back home. Super excited, which by the way, we will have another Cook coming up using the Nally chili. Yes. But super happy for this one. Thank you so much for your generosity. We really do appreciate it. Yep. And for the magnets. And for the magnets. So awesome. We love getting stuff like this. We're, we're giddy. We're chill. We're kids exactly. when it comes to stuff like that. But it's already so up on the fun. fridge. Yep. <laughs> Brett, aside from coming to make this banger, this grilled cheese chili burrito. Yes. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my face.